Hello and welcome to the West Point Army Academy where the Neuroshow Huguenots will be taking on the Kingston Tigers in this regional final matchup. I'm Justin Thomas. And I'm Chris Emanuel. And the Huguenots coming off their win last week up in SUNY Purchase, beating Binghamton by the score of 67 to 48. And Chris, what do you think the keys for victory will be for Huguenots to advance? The key is going to be for the Huguenots to get the ball down low to star forward Joe Clark and keep up their stingy defense in order to win this game against the Tigers. Well put, as Clark has come in averaging over 25 points in these last few games. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Coming up next will be the Huguenots against the Tigers here on NRED TV, home of New Rochelle High School Sports. Hello and welcome back to West Point, and we are at the Crystal Arena for this matchup between the New Rochelle Huguenots and the Kingston Tigers in this regional finals. I'm Justin Thomas. And I'm Chris Emanuel. And we can't wait to get this game started. This will be Joe Clark of New Rochelle taking the tip. And the tip is won by the Huguenots as Peterson will control the ball here to start out. Pass down to Tucci. Tucci looking for help. And a five second call. And that brings an eruption from the crowd, these Kingston fans. New Rochelle cannot allow this crowd to get to them. This crowd is ferocious today. Much like the Mayo Pack crowd. And now Kingston will have their first opportunity on offense. As a drive by number five, shot is no good. Rebound fall for controlled by Edney as he looks to push the tempo. And the ball is poked away and stolen. And Clark bats the ball out of bounds, will be rain Kingston ball. So a fast pace to this game to start out. It's gonna be key for the Huguenots to get the ball down low into Joel Clark's hands. As a drive and a dish and the ball is deflected out of bounds. Huguenots, if they wanna be successful, they need to show that same type of energy they showed all weekend at the county center and up at SUNY Purchase. They bring that energy, I like their chances And a lapse today. on defense as an inside pass and layup is good. Now Kingston comes with the press. Great job by the Huguenots to break it as Fenner drives, layup is good. Number 12, Kingston has the ball, a spin move in the paint, dish off to number three. And the foul will be called here on number 34, Alex Tucci. And now one of many chants you'll hear on the day coming from this Kingston crowd. First free throw is good. The press for the Huguenots has been vital for them so far. Yes, we need to see how often they use the press, if any, in this game. As Kingston will come with their press. And they steal the ball away. Side three, number five is no good, but a foul is called. Bad foul by Fenner as he went to go close out on the shooter. The Tigers showing the Huguenots a taste of their own medicine by causing a turnover on the press. Second free throw is good. Now a substitution here as Spenner will be subbed out. You can see the assistant coach getting at him about that bad foul a moment ago. 
And he's perfect from the line. Three free throws. And the Tigers now lead seven to two. And a bad pass by Holden over the head of Dorn. Goes out of bounds. Kingston forces another turnover. New Rochelle, no answer for this press so far. Driving kick in the ball, stone away by Clark. Off to the races here as it looks to take it by himself. Layup is no good. And now a loose ball foul will be called on the Tigers. Excuse me, it'll be calling the Huguenots, number two, Terrence Holden. Doran guarding closely. As number 12 will have it. The top of the key drives inside. Kicks. Baseline number 32. Layup is no good. Rebound taken by Joe Clark. Gets it out to Dorn. Running layup by Dorn is no good. Rebound and put back by Clark is. Huguenots now trail 7 to 4 here. 5.30 left to go in this first quarter. Joe Clark has been key for the Huguenots throughout these playoffs. Now a step back three is no good short of a rebound by the Tigers. Shot is blocked by Clark. And now a foul on the rebound. It's a great defensive play by Clark, who had four blocks in the game up in purchase against Binghamton. Records his first one here in the first quarter. Now double substitution here as number one, Donovan Powell, who check in replacing Peterson. Number 23, Cleo Edney. We'll check in for the Huguenots. So Powell will run the offense here, got it closely by number 12. Powell looking for help, finds it in Holden, gets it into Edney. Drive baseline by Powell. Finds Dorn in the corner. Dribble drive, pull up, pop. He's good and a foul is called. Dorn has been great all season going baseline and pulling up for that medium range jumper and it gets him a chance for one. Dorn showing his toughness by sticking with that play. Free throw hour is no good. The Huguenots now trail seven to six. As the Tigers look to push the tempo here. Inside pass, the shot is no good, but a foul on number two, Terrence Holden. First free throw is good. And now Peterson will check back in, replacing Holden. Second free throw is no good. Well, Peterson will bring the ball up here. Goes behind the back. Floater is blocked. And his team is telling Peterson to calm down here. As the Huguenots do work better in their transition, def to transition offense when they move the ball around. Corner shot for Dorn. No good rebound. Fought for and controlled by the Tigers. Dorn had the good look but just could not bury the shot. Now a push foul on number one, Donovan Powell, so the Tigers will inbound it on the side.
Because number 12 drives, kicks in the corner. Three is good. <laughs> Tigers bring their press. The Huguenots break it as Powell drives. Finds Joe cutting. Baseline. Layup is no good, but the tip in by Edney is. As Edney does a great job of that, just scrapping on the boards and getting tip ins. Also, good job by the Huguenots to break that press for the layup. So the Tigers will slow it down here. As a drive, and now a blocking foul. Number 22, Derek Dorn. Inbound at the top of the key. And a travel violation here. We'll give the ball right back to the Huguenots. You can hear this Kingston crowd not liking that call. Ball almost knocked away by Peterson, but he regathers. And he'll hand it off to Powell. Dorn has it on the side. He needs to do something here as the five second clock is ticking. And it'll be just at a five second call on Dorn and he's dribbling too much. Now the Tigers break the press here. And an offensive foul call. This looks like number 12 just lost his footing and plowed right into Clark. Kingston's not having that tough of a time breaking the press this far. And the Huguenots get it in as Kingston stifling full court pressure. Peterson has it near mid court. Gives it off to Powell. Powell looking for somebody as he drives. Pulls it out, has Peterson. Peterson now drives and he's stripped of the ball, but a foul is called. Huguenots will inbound the ball underneath the basket. The first substitution here. Number 14 will replace number five of the Tigers. Peterson, pull up jumper from the baseline. It's no good, but rebound tracked down by Edney. Looking for Clark inside, but the ball is broken up. Excuse me, the pass is broken up. But we'll stay with the Huguenots. Edney showing great hustle, grabbing that rebound there for a second chance opportunity. And now a lob off the inbound is good. That's great communication there between Powell and Edney gets the Huguenots a basket. And now a blocking foul out again on Derek Dorn. That's his second foul in the first quarter. We haven't seen that many blocking fouls in the past few games. As most of the time, that would have been an offensive foul going the other way. Whoever will put the Tigers at the line for the third time today. As the first free throw rattles in. And he cans a pair. So the Tigers are now six of seven from the free throw line in this first quarter. Powell gets it to Dorn. Back to Powell. Now back to Dorn. Pull up jumper is good. 
Derek Dorn not affected by this crowd as he is most of New Rochelle's offense here today. And then the ball will be knocked out of bounds remaining with the Tigers. Good job by the Huguenots passing that ball around, finding the open guy. Number 12 has it, guarded closely by Peterson. Inside pass. And now a holding foul. Against the Huguenots here, as the refs are calling it really tight here to start out the game. And that'll put the Huguenots over the limit. First of the one and one is good. So we'll have one more shot coming up. Second free throw is no good here. And Kingston leads New Rochelle 14 to 12 at 140 left to go in this first quarter. Dorn has it now. Passing the corner for Peterson. Back to Dorn. Dorn looking for Powell. The ball is tipped. The Huguenots reset here with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Peterson needs to do something here as Dorn has it. A long three pointer is no good. An air ball. Joe Clark frustrated as he wanted that ball on that possession. Corner three for the Tigers. No good. Now an over the back call against the Tigers. The Tigers are not afraid to shoot the ball as they've now had four three point attempts here in this first quarter. Peterson has it, kicks in the corner for Dorn. Back to Peterson. Now Powell has it near the top of the key. Shovels inside to Clark. Pass inside to Dorn, layup is no good. Pull up three pointer by number 11 is short, rebounded by Clark. Gets the ball and looks to run. Bounce pass up ahead to Dorn. Pull up jumper, no good. Rebound tracked down and saved by Powell. Good hustle to knock the ball over to Dorn. And the Huguenots will hold for one here. <laughs> Peterson has it with five. Pass to Powell. Back to Peterson. They need to make a shot here. Powell, three at the buzzer. It's no good. Too strong. And with that, it'll bring this first quarter to an end. End of the first quarter. The Neuro Show 12. Kingston Tigers 14. You're watching NRED TV, home of Neuro Shell High School Sports.